<laughs> Yo guys, what's up? Uh, just finishing packing for a trip that I'm getting picked up to leave on in like uh, one hour. Uh, just getting the gear together. I usually pack pretty last minute. That seems to be the theme in my packing life. But I'm gonna quickly show you some of the gear, the camera gear and the gear gear that I pack when I go on shoots and sort of things like that. Some of you might find this interesting, some of you might not. You can skip ahead if you don't care about gear. I find gear fascinating and amazing in bags and things like that. So if this is gonna interest you, keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start with clothes real quick, just blitz through this, nothing crazy special. This shoot, actually, I get to take more clothes than I normally do. Usually I take like one or two sets of clothes and undergarments on video shoots that I fly to. And uh, to some of you that might sound really gross and uh, I would suggest don't become a traveling filmmaker because you need more room for your video gear than you get to take your special extra clothes. But uh, this is like my new favorite jacket. It's from a company called Jasper, Jackets for Jasper. And uh, they're handmade in Nepal, which is really neat. And they go directly to supporting sending kids to school in Nepal. And this is like a full down jacket. Okay, so here we are in the video gear. And with video gear, I kind of divide it up into the cases that these are cases that you kind of carry and store stuff in. And these are the cases that you shoot out of. In this case, I'm taking this gorgeous f-stop bag as uh, sort of the bag that I'm shooting out of. And so this one is usually works as my day pack and it's where I operate all the gear out of when I'm shooting in that particular day. Then kind of everything else is just cases to store stuff in and keep things organized. Okay, so in these cases, the first one holds all the motor and cable equipment that I need for the second shooter. It all fits inside this nice soft shell, really handy. Over here in this Peli case, this is where hard drives live. I like my hard drives nice and secure. Okay, so over to these cases. I love these tackle box style cases. Uh, inside this one, I kind of keep all my screws and miscellaneous parts and pieces and tools. So, I mean, all these little tripod adapter plate screws that you need, the quarter inch and 5 16 ones, or 5 8 uh, and just kind of other little knickknacks are in here. Love these cases because you can see what's inside of them. This right here is a new thing for me. It's a case that I'm using to hold my batteries. Uh, obviously I don't have it filled entirely with batteries, but I'm trying this system, you know, this is obviously a charged battery and then when it's dead, I put it in like that. I don't know, we'll see if I use this system. Just trying to find a better way to carry all these batteries instead of them just floating around in my bag. This right here is a Pelican SD card case. I put my name and phone number all over it, so that way if I lose it, I get it back. But uh, yeah, these are amazing if you don't have one. I don't know why you don't have one, get one. This right here is actually a toiletries case, uh, but I use this for holding tools and parts as well. Um, and so this has like a multi-bit screwdriver. I love these screwdrivers. If you don't have one, they're really neat because you can only use one bit at a time, which is perfect for people like me, because in order to get the next one, you have to push the other one in to get the new one. So you never misplace the little bits. And that's fantastic. Over here in this side, I have things like different glues, like this is Shugu, which is great for repairing tears and stuff and things. I have sewing materials. You never know what you need to sew on a shoot, but it's really handy actually having sewing materials along. I mean, if you bust the crotch in your pants, you can sew it, or if you need to like jimmy rig something it's gear wise, oh, it's great. I have a phone selfie stick. This has not been used very frequently. And uh, over here, there's just some other hardware and miscellaneous stuff, but this toiletries bag actually works amazing just because it lets you lay stuff out and you can just put it all back together. Okay, in this last briefcase down here, uh, this kind of holds all the charging stuff. So I try to keep all the charging cables and chargers together. I'm a very visual person. I actually don't do like packing lists very frequently. I know when I do shoots with other people and uh, with more gear and rented gear, I do packing lists. But mainly when it's my own gear, I just kind of go off my memory and my memory is very visual. So I remember kind of what the inside of this case looks like. So that way when I'm packing gear out and something looks like it's missing, I pick up on that really quick. I also number and label everything with these kind of paint pens. Some people think that's totally overkill. But for me, it's really, really helpful to know, you know, this is battery number one. This is battery number four. Things like that are really helpful for me. And uh, I don't think it's a waste and I don't really care what it looks like. 
but uh, I label everything just so that way when I'm on set with other people, my gear doesn't get mixed up and stolen on accident, which sucks. I have these silica gel packs. These are great because they absorb moisture really, really well. I put these kind of in any cases that have electronics or things that don't want to get damaged by moisture. Uh, you can get these in like new shoes or other new cases, but I keep these around as much as I can so that way I can throw them in my cases and have them absorb the moisture and not my electronics. I almost always take books on my trips and this is a new book from Gary Vee. So we're reading that right now. And this is kind of a notebook for jotting down ideas and uh, stuff like that. Nalgene water bottle, Bluetooth speaker because you never know when you're gonna wanna blast some tunes. Okay, so over here I'll finish off with the video gear. Uh, for camera support, got my Suri monopod. Love this thing. Just did a video on it if you haven't seen it. My Gorillapod, mainly for vlogging and time-lapsing. My Kessler Stealth slider, it actually fits in the Suri case, uh, which is great because I don't like damaging the rails of my slider when transporting it. Um, okay, so this bag is simply amazing. F-Stop, make the best, hands down, camera gear adventure bags in the world. You'll see like all the Camp 4 director guys using it, the Brain Farm guys using it. There's a reason why they use it. It's because F-Stop makes the best adventure camera bags on the market, hands down. Um, they're great because they open from the back, which means when you have it on the snow, you're trying to get your gear out, you know, the, when you put the backpack back on, it doesn't get all the snow and dirt on you. Open up well. They have this modular internal organizing system. So this is the XL Pro ICU, but you can get different sizes, so you can kit out your bags differently. The F-Stop bag is actually what I shoot out of. So I don't normally carry tons and tons of gear inside of it until we go out on a shoot. When I fly somewhere, I will always have an entire camera kit ready to go inside of this bag. But when we're just driving somewhere, I tend to keep more of the gear in other cases and then add it to this bag as we go out and shoot. So this bag particularly will carry the lenses that I need for that day and my A7S kit and my 60D kit. And this bag here is a top loading Cata bag. Uh, my dad actually found this at the dump for me, uh, but inside this bag is where I keep most of my lenses. I love this bag because it's top loading, so you can kind of just take lenses in and out of it as you go. But uh, the lenses I'm taking on this trip, uh, the 35 millimeter Rokinon, this is probably the oldest lens that I've owned and it's absolutely amazing. Love it, get amazing images from this lens. Then I also have the Rokinon 85 millimeter, amazing lens. Again, this is 1.4, just like the 35 mil. So then I have this 50 millimeter lens from Sigma, which is a great, fast, sharp lens. I like this 51.4 version better than the Canon version. You might notice that I don't have tons of Canon glass. That's because I think Canon lenses particularly are overpriced. Uh, they're out of my budget. A lot of the L series lenses just aren't in my price range. Uh, and I love the manual primes and stuff that Rokinon's offering. So I eat those up. <laughs> So yeah, that's the video gear. Nothing crazy special, just the little pieces of kit that I've acquired over the years. Uh, definitely just acquiring things one piece at a time is how I've rolled and uh, I treat my gear as best I can, but I don't baby it completely. I use my gear and I don't feel bad that I use my gear. Yeah, so that's all the gear packed. Literally leaving here in just a few moments. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us today. Gonna be gone for about two weeks, which is kind of like a bit of a bummer uh, because I don't really wanna be leaving for two weeks right before I'm getting married. But uh, it's a good, exciting project, and so it's kind of a bit of a compromise. But uh, yeah, but uh, all the stuff's ready to go. Dan's gonna come pick me up, and then we're gonna hit the road.